Hi, it's Mike from Goodwins Farm 207. I'm by myself today working on a little project uh, for our chickens. We have these little watering cups that mount on buckets that we were given by a viewer, which we are very grateful for. It's been a long time coming getting around to this project, but uh, we're in the need for some uh, watering solutions inside our coop as we're trying to retrain our birds to uh, roost inside the coop as opposed to wherever they've been choosing to roost at night over the summer. Uh, so this will help us uh, keep clean water for the chickens and it should be pretty easy. So let's get to it. So the way these work is you drill a hole in your bucket and there's a nut that threads on the back side here from inside the bucket. And when you have the bucket full, um, this cup will basically fill itself. Um, it is on a spring. So when your bird comes over um, and puts weight on this, it will fill the cup and they can drink and get clean, fresh water. And when they get off, it springs back up and it stops the flow of water. So we have two five gallon buckets and a bag of these watering cups, some drill bits, a drill, and I guess a Sharpie. So what I've done so far is I've measured the height that I think I want this to be at. So there's still some room for the cup to drop. Uh, so that way it doesn't bottom out on the ground. So this top line here represents the top of the threads and this bottom line here is where I'm going to drill. So let's try this first one out. So little wing nut goes on inside the bucket. And as you can see here, there's plenty of room underneath for this to go all the way down for the mechanism inside to work. All right. That worked pretty well. Let's get a few more done. Before we drill that hole, let's make sure it's up high enough. Measure about two and seven eighths. So, I think we're good. There is a little rubber gasket in on the outside part of this that I'll show you in just a second before I put the next one on um, that will help keep this from leaking. So. I'm tightening it pretty good, but I'm, I'm not going to over tighten it just I don't want anything to break because it is all just plastic, but there is a little gasket here that I think should do a good job in keeping things from leaking. The drill bit that I used was just a little bit bigger than the uh, outside diameter of the threads here. Um, sometimes this plastic, uh, these plastic buckets can break if you try to force anything. So I just didn't want the bucket to crack. Uh, so played it safe. It is a pretty snug fit even though it was a little bit on the oversized. And I spaced these about five inches apart, roughly. And I'm only going to put them on the front half of the bucket because we want to be able to place this up against the wall. 
And if these were all around, we wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think I want to put any more than these four on this one bucket. I think that's a pretty good spacing. Should be plenty of room for the birds to be able to get in here and get some water. All right, let's get the other bucket done. Okay, so we've got two buckets with four water spigots each. I think that should do well for the birds that we have. And if it's not, it looks like we have about another two buckets worth of watering cups to make more. So let's go get these outside filled up. We do have lids, so that way the chickens can stay out of the clean water and we'll get these filled up and ready for the birds. Lazy dog. But she's a good dog. Right, Liberty? Liberty. You a good girl? Yeah. This is Jess is German Shepherd, Liberty. She's a good girl. It may seem a little silly that it's taken us more than a year to get around to such a simple project. But as anyone who has a farm or a homestead knows, there are always projects to do. And we set aside these little ones in favor of the big ones so that we can feel like we're actually making progress. As you can tell in the scenery behind me, the seasons are changing here in Maine. Leaves are changing colors and it's getting colder. This is my favorite time of year. And I really hope that we can make the time as a family to enjoy this nice, cool weather while it lasts. Snow is just around the corner, so we need to make the most of it. bother clamping them down all around because honestly the chickens aren't going to be able to get these off <clears throat> and they're kind of a pain in the neck to unclip all the way around once they're sealed so we'll probably have to be out here in a couple days filling these back up. So it's a little dark in the coop, so I'm not going to bring you in there, but I was a little bit wrong about how these worked when I was uh, talking about them earlier. So they fill up with the water, and as they drink it, it fills back up. I don't know if you can see that or not.
but that's how it works. So I'm going to get these situated in the coop and we'll be right back. So this is the setup, pardon the mess, um, but it's up on this little wooden platform just to keep it up out of the shavings that are on the floor. And I guess uh, we'll give this a little bit to see how it works. Well, that's a wrap on this project. Pretty easy, and if it works, it'll be a great solution to keep clean water in our coop for our chickens. Anyone who's had chickens for any amount of time knows that that can be a struggle. So if this works, it'll be a great thing. So thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please consider. That definitely helps us out a lot. Like this video, leave a comment, share it with anyone you think might find this helpful. And as always, we thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.